Hello students, this is your art teacher Mrs. Ashwini Kumar and today we are going to make a very interesting painting using earbuds. So today we are going to make lavender flowers using earbuds. For this painting you will require paint. You can use any paint, you can use acrylic, you can use watercolor or you can use poster color. Preferably acrylic but if you do not have any colors, any paints would do. For this we will need three colors. One is lavender. If you do not have lavender, purple also would do. So this is a color similar to lavender for me. And I am going to use a darker purple and I am going to use white. So three colors. Dark lavender, light lavender and white. If you do not have lavender, you can also use purple. So let's start. To make the flowers, first we'll have to make leaves and stems. For that, again, you can use paint, but to make it a little easier, I am going to use crayons. You can also use color pastels or you can use color pencils. So these are the pastels I'm going to use, out of which I'll get a few green shades. And I will start drawing the grass and stems and leaves with these. So to make it easier, I am going to turn my paper upside down to give the strokes that I want. So if I want my grass to be from here, I will just turn my paper and start making the grass. Now I'll use a different green. I'm just filling the white areas with green because I do not want any white patches. And now I'll use the lightest green that I have. This also you could use to make the stems of the flower. So for the stems they'll be a little higher than the grass. So on each stem we are going to make the lavender flower. So I'll turn it to make it straight. Okay, this is my earbud. You may need more than one, but we'll try to finish our painting using just one earbud. So first we are going to use the darkest color, which is this dark purple. We'll just dip our cube uh, earbud in the paint and take select one stem and in a triangular shape press the earbud so there should be a tip and then as you go down it should form a small or a long triangle shape Make sure you do not overdo the stamping or else everything will just merge and you will not be able to see clearly the stamping effect of the earbud. So each stem is going to get the dark lavender or purple stamping like so. 
I will just fast forward this for you. We have finished stamping the darkest color now we will go to the lighter lavender or the light purple that we have which is this color we are going to use the same technique we are going to dip our earbud in the paint and dab now because we have already filled in a lot of color this color we are going to dab less we are not going to cover the entire flower we are only going to color some parts. So, I will show you how to do it. See, you should be able to see the darker color also and the lighter color also. So, again, I am going to fast forward this for you. I have finished stamping the light lavender color now both my tips are colored now I need to use uh, the same as I said for the last color which is white so I will just take a paper and wipe it wipe the color if you want you can use another earbud also but we'll try and use the same so for the white we are going to use even less color than what we use for the lavender or light purple. So white again will dip and very little just a few drops here and there not a lot and try and keep the white on one side one side of the flower and not everywhere. Let me fast forward this for you. Now let me add a few more details on the stems because the stems are very light so I'll just make them a little darker using my crayons. 
but before you draw, color anything or draw anything after the painting make sure that your painting is dried completely or otherwise your color will smudge So your yeah, earbud painting is ready. So children, I hope you have enjoyed this painting session. Enjoy painting and thank you.